Jan Hamacek, photo, CTK, Simonic VIT After heading the last government, the Social Democrats came sixth in October's elections on under 7.5% of the vote. At present the party's leaders are attempting to form a minority coalition with the election's overwhelming winners, Anyo. Such an alliance would in theory be supported on key votes by the Communist Party. In an unusual move, the leadership of the Social Democrats have called an internal referendum on whether the party should hitch their wagon to Andre Babis's Anyo, who are offering them five ministerial portfolios. Jan Hamacek is the Social Democrats' chairman. The voting slips have been printed up, so now nothing stands in the way of local party branches voting. The vote will take place in the usual way. The Electoral Commission will count the votes and the result will be announced within an hour of the completion of the election. The party's 17,700 or so members they will cast secret votes at around 1,100 local branches. Some local party bosses have already recommended that their members back a coalition with Anyo. But other branches look set to reject the deal, favoring a spell on the opposition benches. Among those against the mooted coalition is Senate Speaker Milan Steck. He told Czech Television the Social Democrats had seen enough of Anyo Chief Andre Babis in recent years. Our experience, especially of Andre Babis, in the last government was very bad. He always put just his own interests first. The whole time he was working hard to damage the Social Democrats as much as possible. Andre Babis, photo, CTK, Rehova Michaela other factors are also at play. President Milos Zeman has come out against the Social Democrats' choice for Foreign Minister, Miroslav Poch, saying he is soft on migrants. In response, Anya leader Babis has said he would not like to see a split with the head of state on foreign policy. Another issue is the backing of the communists, without which the possible two-party minority cabinet would appear dead in the water. They are demanding that the pairing drop plans to expand troop numbers abroad. In any case, there won't be a new Czech government in the very near future. The Social Democrats are giving themselves a full three and a half weeks to ballot their members and the vote will not conclude until June 14th.